Hello pretties! Welcome to Rips Roll. So today we're going to be doing another episode of Palette Week and today we're doing my um doing my eyeshadow palette for the summer out of my single shadows. I've been doing this for a while now um, where I just go through my single shadows and I curate a nine palette um, like a small nine, nine shadow palette just for the season and like you know trying to make sure that I rotate through my single shadows and from time to time I just reach for them and when I feel like doing something, you know, summary. Um, before we get started, please do not forget to like and subscribe so we become a resident of Festival. If you have any ideas for uh, Palette Week, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. I love, love, love to hear your comments. It's my favorite part. So I definitely am trying to do that more in my future videos is encourage you guys to do more comments. So yeah, my makeup today, it's the end of the day. I've had this makeup on all day. Um, I definitely was running out the door this morning, so I did like the simplest makeup look you can think of. I have my tinted moisturizer with a little bit of the milk uh, bronzer and a little bit of the milk uh, blush and uh, concealer. Eyelash, uh, I have my mascara on, and then I put the tiniest little bit of eyeshadow on, but we are going to be trying a look with the palette that I create, but I think my eyeshadow look is so, so soft that I can just do it right on top of it. I don't think it's gonna affect it whatsoever, but fingers crossed. Um, now, before we get started, I just wanna give you guys an idea of what it is that I'm looking for this season. I feel like I've been, I did softer looks this spring. I did pastels. I feel before that for the fall, I definitely did like warm or warm term neutrals um, and a couple of uh, like silvers. And then before that, I was just really into the grunge. But this summer, I'm feeling like a traditional, bright, colorful again. And that's my inspiration <laughs> for this summer. I'm just going all out with their colors. And I want bright, poppy colors. Except there's one exception. There's one color that I know I want to touch. I know I want to put it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that through it. Uh, by the way, I don't have the most single eyeshadows, um, including my Super Shock shadows, which are quite a few of them. I have 54 single shadows. Um, so I got the, sing the Super Shocks and I think it's like closer to like 40 or something like that. So I don't have a gigantic eyeshadow like single shadow collection. So we're just going to go from what I have. I have this ColourPop palette that has all ColourPop singles right here. I have my Laura Lee Los Angeles palette which has, which has, oh, oh man. Okay, so all this here at the top are Larry Lee Los Angeles. These two are from Sephora Collection. This one's from Ulta. This is from a Deep Potted Tarte. I swear to God, they were calm. And as soon as I start, they go crazy. And I have this four right here from Makeup Geek. So there's that. All right, so the one shadow that I say I know I'm going to put in is this blue right here from Larry Los Angeles. Um, and that's going to be Crystal Sea. I just feel like this is, this is everything. Oh, no. It looks like I like stabbed it on the side. Do you guys see that? It looks like I stabbed it by accident. And now this, oh, there's the chunk. The chunk is right here in the corner. Oh man. All right, well, hopefully it doesn't shatter me. But Crystal, Crystal C is gonna be the palette. Say it with me, I, I, for whatever reason, cannot seem to be able to do a palette without this shade. And that is Tan Tan from Laura Los Angeles. And this was in my video yesterday for my one and done shadows. I apparently cannot do a palette without this shade. A must staple. I am debating whether I should grab Cobalt Cat. No, 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 no. Let's go with this one right here, this green. Uh, Sweet Pea. So this is Sweet Pea from Laura Los Angeles. I said just looking for bright colorful shades. Sweet Pea. Um, I'm debating whether I should go with, I think it's Flamingo. Oh yeah, Drunk Flamingo, or if I should go with this one right here, or this one right here. Okay, before, we're gonna come back to this palette, but right now I wanna check out if there's anything in the Laura Los Santos palette that is like calling my name. I'm like wanting to grab that purple, that pink right here, but I'm just like, but let me not. <laughs> um. Is there anything else that's like calling my name? I always want to grab for Tiki, but I won't. I won't grab Tiki. I won't, because I feel like I'm going for more of the greens. Okay, I'm gonna go for Glass Bowl. I think Glass Bowl will be a nice addition. Oh no, 
just stabbed it right, my finger right in there. Okay, so we got the glass bowl from ColourPop. Does that mesh well? I think, yeah, that and this, this C, Crystal C will go really well together. I want to grab Heavenly, but I know that that was in my last one, so I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, I think I did want to grab a dark blue, so I'm going to go with this one right here. So if I wanted to put it in the outer corner, and this is Backstage from ColourPop. Okay, I'm just being rough with them. Is there anything else that's calling my eye? Catching my eye. Not calling me, but catching my eye. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the this one right here. Okay, I know for a fact that I want to grab this hot pink right here. I think it's called Hot Tamale. Oh no, it's Staycation. Staycation, not Hot Tamale. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> There is a shade called Caught Tamale from the Makeup Geek collection, but this is from Makeup Geek. Let's see, what else? Do I want to grab the lighter pink? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to grab the lighter pink. Uh, I feel like I need a little something more. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Conjure Up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Conjure Up. And because I'm going with Conjure Up, I'm also going to go with Heavenly. Yeah, Heavenly. Okay. This turned out cruncher that I wanted it to look. Hold on. I don't know how I feel about it. Let's go back to the Laura Los Angeles palette. I think I am going to grab Gimmick. Yeah, Gimmick. So I'm going to take Heavenly out, and we're putting Gimmick instead. I think this is going to soften it up just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Putting Heavenly back. All right. So this is what my palette looks like. Woohoo! All right. So definitely some color. Now what do we do? What do we do with this? Um... All right, let's play with it because that's what I said I was going to do. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to make an eye look with this. Um, let's see. Grab my eyeshadow brushes right here. All right, so I think if you see all of this picked up, my glasses just picks it up right here. Nothing I can do about it. So make sure my mirror is a little clean. Ooh, wrong side. I wanted to clean the other side. Nope, that's still just as dirty as it was. All right. All right, I think I can see. Ow, 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 ow. I just hurt my knee. Jesus Christ. I hurt my knee while playing football last week or the week before that, last the two Thursdays ago. And Lord, that really hurt what I just did right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, I need to be careful. That was very painful. All right, so I'm going to go with Tantan, and I just want to... Warm up the crease a little bit more. So, tan tan. And warming up the crease, warming up the crease. I just want it a little bit deeper from what I'm about to do. Because okay, I think I want to do like an, like an old blue look. And I'm about to do something really out there that I haven't done in the past. Ooh, sorry. A mirror was about to fall on my camera. Grab my finger, put it all over a crystal, and we're just gonna we're just gonna pop pop it right in the center, right everywhere. Keep it popping. Keep it popping. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. Is this doesn't scream pool? I don't know what does. I swear I don't know what it does. I'm going to leave just the very edge of the outer corner empty because I'm going to go with that backstage and kind of like smoke it out a little bit right there. But I want to keep building. I think we're okay. Okay. <laughs> that's why I was afraid of what I was trying to catch before, but that's okay. So I just got to build that blue, build it up more. And it just blended right into my crease. That is so nice. So nice, so nice. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to grab a little bit of gimmick, no sorry, um, glass bowl from ColourPop. 
So I'm gonna grab Graspel. I'm just gonna pop that right in the center because it has a little bit of those blues. So I think it's just gonna add a little bit of something. Not sure what. I'm gonna put a little more right in the center. Oh. Do you guys see that effect that it's having because of the duochromeness? And I'm just gonna put whatever it's left over my finger from Crystal and my and the outer and inner. Okay, great. Go back with my brush and blend the crease so it doesn't look too blue. Just a little bit softer. I think I'm achieving what I want to achieve. Can't quite tell. Okay, no, I don't think I'm doing what I wanted to do, but let's put a little more crystal. Right at the edges. Okay, I think I'm doing it. All right. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush, the dirty. No. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab that backstage shade, the dark blue. And I'm just gonna spread at the outer corner. Maybe I want to do a halo. I think I want to do a halo, so I'm gonna grab that same dark blue and then now put it in the inner corner. That's not what I was expecting to do today, but we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. Improv. Nice. Nice. This looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. I definitely have all these amazing shades and I'm just not playing with them as much as I should. Cause this look, I'm like really loving it. I'm not sure how well it shows. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that crystal shade and just kind of blend it right here in the edges. Blend, 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 blend. Finger blend, finger blend, finger blend. Now I grab a little bit of tan tan and just go right at the edges. All right, and then I'm gonna grab a little more grass bowl again and just put it right in the center. And bam, what do you think? How did that look? Does that look nice? It feels nice. Like, I'm really loving that eye look. Oh my God, okay. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that back, backstage shade and then the little brush. I'm just gonna to finish it off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of crystal and then put it right there in the center, just to make it pop the same way and. Bam. Okay, my brush just fell on my lap. But that's it. What do y'all think? Do you like it? Do you like it? All right, let's do another eye. Cause I'm having fun. Now I wanna do a green look. And I think I'm gonna do a more traditional like cut crease style, but I'm gonna do most of the work with my fingers, similar to what I did just now. So same thing. I'm gonna just use the same brush I was having. And I'm gonna deepen up the crease with uh, tan tan. So I just grab a little bit of tan tan. Bam. And this is hard. I'm gonna try to readjust myself to this side. <laughs> so just can you guys see? Hope you guys can see. Okay, there you go. And, okay, 14 minutes. Uh, gonna grab a large smaller brush and gonna grab Conjure Up. Bam. And we're just gonna go in the outer crease, in the outer corner, sorry.
there you go. Now we're just going to blend that crease. I think I'm going to push it up a little higher. There you go. Nice. Bend the crease. Great. Now I'm going to go into that sweet pea shade, that green from Laura Los Angeles. Just put it in the middle and part of the lid and bring it to the end corner, corner but without going all the way in. The outer portion does not look blended, but it's okay. <laughs> then with another finger, I'm going to grab Gimmick. Because Gimmick has like a silvery, like green door chromeness to it. And I'm just going to put that right at the inner section of it. Nice. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay. Going to go back with Sweet Pea. I'm going to put a little bit more in that inner middle portion nice oh my god this looks great these are blending beautifully together you can almost not like your gradients looks amazing but i'm gonna go back and grab a little bit of conjure up put it in the outer corner Ugh, it's right where i need it to be and i moved it again okay Nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Kundra up and just put it on the lower like, corner. And be... Don't want to take it all the way, just in the very outer corner. Nice. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend the crease to make sure it doesn't grab a little more of Tan Tan. <laughs> blend the crease. And bring it down here. Bam! Okay, I am feeling myself. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, it's they're powdery, but that's okay. That's okay. So I achieved two looks. Bomb poppy like pool, like deep ocean blue eyes. Love that. And then this beautiful green look. Oh my god. I am really liking ooh, magnified side. I am really enjoying both of these looks. What do you guys think? I can't stop looking at them. I just gotta say, not to toot my own horn, but I love it. Okay, it's 18 minutes. Definitely want to call it here and put my glasses back on. So let me know if you have any like combinations that you think I should try. Is there any, uh, I can't get over this green look. It just makes my brown eyes pop. Do you see that? They just... I need to stop. I need to do this outro. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. Which one of these looks was your favorite? Um, do you have any ideas of anything that I should try? I always feel like putting that tan in the crease, one blends the colors into them, which my camera is not the best to show that blend from like radiance from one side to the other. Like my camera's not the best to do that with, but there is that. Um, if you have any ideas, would, tell me which one you like better in the comments below. If you have any ideas of any combinations I can try, please let me know. I would love to try them. Um, and I will see you tomorrow in the next episode of every like eyeshadow palette week or eyeshadow week or whatever you want to call it now. Which I forgot to mention this was inspired by uh, Lauren May Beauty and it's just stuff. So I'm going to leave them down below. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye guys!